Hi, it's Wesley, and this is my channel, 22 Zines, and I am filming this unboxing, first impressions, whatever you want to call it, of Dame Darcy's Witchy Cat deck, and I am so, so excited about it. I've been wanting a Dame Darcy deck forever, and I just never really... I was never really grabbed by the Mermaid or the Queen Alice deck, but... This one is totally my jam. It's got anthro, cat, people, animals. It's in her very uh, comic book, heavy line, zine-like style, so it's totally fitting. <laughs> and I just, I just had to show an unboxing. I had to record it. So here is the box. I sprung for the slightly uh, nicer box that's like a clothes flap, which is slightly more expensive, or you can get it in a tuck box, but... I knew if it was a if I got a talk box, I'd just have to make another box for it anyway, and it didn't want to bother. So here we go. The back here it says Witchy Cat was inspired by Bastet, the Therianthropic Egyptian goddess of abundance, fertility, and protection of women. Also influenced by Victorian surrealism. Ooh. <laughs> this deck was drawn in the memory of my childhood pet kitty, Licorice Licky. Oh, nineteen seventy three through 1989, whose sweet little spirit visited me in dreams during the drawing of this deck. Oh, oh, hello, licorice. Well, I usually name my decks, um, or I have I have little nicknames for them. It's it's usually a pretty organic process, but I guess this one I've got a I've got a name it licorice. I've got a name it licky. Um, Witchy Cat Tarot, the third deck in the series, is dedicated to you, dear tarot reader. Oh, me. <laughs> and cat lover, thank you, Dame Darcy. Oh, I'm so excited about it. Look how pretty. Okay, I'm just going to open it up. Okay. Oh, and you open it up and it's right there, right in the face. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. <laughs> Look at all the black. That's awesome. You got this nice little cat in the side here, too. Uh, really nice box, of course. Ooh, okay, all right. I'm, I'm taking them out of the box. Here's the interior. Very cute. Reminds me of the Everyday Witch interiors. Or the, you know, the card backs in the box. It's not Ooh, it's got a black gilding. See, I didn't even pay attention to most of the stuff when I ordered it. I usually... I'm very care. I know a lot about a deck and I do a lot of research, but this one I just didn't even bother. I didn't even look at a walkthrough. I have not seen any of this deck besides the few images that have been on Dame Darcy's website because I just wanted to be surprised. Um, so here's the back. Oh, I love these. They're like little um, Kiki's delivery service cats. Really nice. And it is... I guess it's reversible. They look slightly different, but it doesn't matter because I don't read reversals anyway. Okay, here we go. I'm going to look through them all. Oh my goodness. I guess I'll set it down so that it's not so, not so wonky. Look at that just exuberant jump. You know, cats always land on their feet, so it's no problem with that. And she's got a little hat. She's got a little witch hat. They're like the cats and cats. Nice cardstock. I don't really care about about cardstock, to be perfectly honest. I know, sacrilege. I'm just used to zines where, you know... <laughs> I don't, it literally does not matter what cardstock it's printed on. I love this big jump. And one thing I really love about Dame Darcy's artwork in general is how the text is incorporated into the image um, and drawn in different places and hand-drawn. I really like it. Okay. Oh, that's so cool. Ooh, oh, there's two on the Magician. Two figures. That's unusual. That's interesting. You have the sword, the pentacle, the cup, and the wand. Ooh. I love the, the lady angel holding the sword. I don't know what it is. Just like the cutting more cat-like mind this this guy looks like an old-timey stage magician you know like uh what do they call that dick dastardly kind of thing <laughs> i guess she did say it was inspired by victorian spiritualism in some ways and i get i totally get that feeling from this oh look at the watercolor 
Okay, I'm not I'm not gonna spend forever on each card. Oh look at that, it's a lion lady. Ooh, look at the moon. <laughs> this is so cool. I love the text being separate. And these are cool borders. They're sort of I guess these borders are on all of them. They've got this little swirly edging. That's really cool. Ooh. I really like the intensity of color in that. High Priestess is sometimes kind of washed out or it's just very blue, but I really like the warmth and the very bright sun um, color of it. That's really cool. <laughs> oh man, I see this first thing, Marie Antoinette, is that will always be what comes in my head whenever I see anything with this kind of haircut. <laughs> um, wow. There's so much going on here. You know, um, this is like a reclining Venus. That's, um, when I was in an, I took one intro to art history class and I absolutely loved it. And eventually I'd like to take more, but the one focus that we had was on the sort of classical image of the reclining Venus through the ages. And this reminds me very much of that because you have all these very lush pillows and look at all of this detail. I'm a little surprised at the detail. You you can't see a lot of these little very detailed cross hatching and hatching in the um online. And you can see just like these little leaves down here. And there's the three. Do they all have three do they have all the numbers? I don't think they all have the numbers. Which is fine. I don't I don't need the numbers, but that's interesting. I wonder why she decided to include it on that one. I guess there isn't a guidebook. That's fine. Not like I need one. And we have a lion emperor. Oh my gosh. Ooh, look at the sphere that he's holding. It's a crystal ball. That's really cool. I love the foresight. I love the the idea of future sight. Oh my gosh. You probably saw this coming. You know, I think I have mentioned in probably every single one of my videos so far that lions are my absolute favorite animal. And so you probably saw this coming. You're like, Wesley, you're going to like this emperor because <laughs> it's a lion and you are apparently that easy. Oh my gosh. I love the big royalty. And that's what's nice about the about this one. It definitely feels like royalty. And um, that's really cool. Oh, okay. I'm going to come back to you, buddy. Oh, more lions! See, I gotta turn it sometimes. Oh my god, there are so many lions in this deck. That's so great. This is weird. This one's interesting. I get this guy, obviously, but I wonder what they're doing. Is this a wedding thing? Is this some sort of wedding ritual that I am unaware of? I have not been to a wedding. That's not true. When I was six days old, I went to my father's best friend's wedding. Um, that doesn't that doesn't exactly count. That whole night was a blur. <laughs> um, interesting. Oh, I really like it. I love the hand drawn quality of Dame Darcy decks. I. It's it, hopefully this sh this shows what I mean about it. It's just very zine like. It's very layered. But it's all done in ink, and ooh, it's just so cool. And they have the human hands. I really love, I love anthro animals, and I love the sort of human anthro animals. I have a zine called Gavin Claiborne and Jimmy Lee where all the characters are that, where they're basically just human bodies, animal heads kind of people. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, I wonder if that's licorice. Looking down. Oh. I think that would make sense. Love the roses. I get the Alice in Wonderland. Look at these bat wings. That's interesting. Sort of has a, a devious air about it. That's ooh, that's interesting. Look at this big green. Yeah, it, it is very Victorian. I really like that. I was obsessed with Victorian era stuff when I was. Uh, when I was a teenager, but I was obsessed with like the coal miners and working class history and all that. <laughs> I know. Um, really great. Oh, look. Ooh. This is interesting. I guess I see this. It's like, um, it's 
it's like a train. It looks like a train to me. It just reminds me of a train, and they're passing the Sphinx or this the Sphinx-like sculpture. Look at these curled whiskers and the bowler hat. He definitely seems like a big Victorian industrialist train um, writer. <laughs> you know? Okay, sorry. I had a little camera issue, so there's going to be a cut there. Um, trust me, I would not walk away from this deck if I, <laughs> if I didn't have to. Oh my goodness, this is... I, so I think I was saying that um, this looks like he'd be at home in an Agatha Christie novel. Just the sort of um, big <laughs> train rider. Uh, 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 Hercule Poirot. <laughs> I really love it. Look at these intense eyes. Really, really cool. Oh, interesting. This is a really intense strength card as far as they go. I guess it's like the tabby is rejecting the lion's advances. <laughs> this looks like a say no to drugs thing. Like, hey, man, I'll just, I'll just a sip of the wine. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, that's interesting. I like how strength is number eight. I just, and it's less because of strength and more because I like justice at number 11, so that's really nice. We still have the infinity symbol, but it's on like a little collar. Oh, that's so sweet. Ooh. I wonder what all this is. I can't totally tell. It looks just like a big fluffy pillow kind of thing or, you know, sheepskin rug. Wait a second, she has wine here? Oh, maybe she's not rejecting. Oh, she said yes to drugs. Ooh, I totally did this all the time. I was obsessed with Harriet the Spy. I was obsessed with sneaking around and hiding in places. I had a, like a little fort that was set up under the stairs where I could hear really well what was going on upstairs, and I did that a lot. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love this. This is really Victorian. Oh, peeking through the door... The doorknob. It's also like an Alice in Wonderland thing, um, peeking through the, the keyhole. And the keyhole, that's really interesting. Like, like you can put a key in it and, um, I don't know, key, key goes well with Hermit. Key is an interesting um, symbol to include in that. Oh, really nice. I love the hatching on the background. I love the vertical hatching. I think it looks great. And I love the vertical Hermit. You just, I don't know, you get that sense of vastness. It's an interior room, and she managed to get this total sense of vastness. I love Dame Darcy. This is so cool. I'm so glad she did this deck. Look at this one. Look at these two witches. Can I draw fan art of a tarot deck? Is that weird? I'm going to do it. I'll I'll put it as the, uh, as the thumbnail for this or something, because I love these two. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's like a clock face. The whole thing, it's like a pocket watch. That's really cool. Ah, and even the classic, you know, little demon on this has a little witch hat. And you have the eagles, too. And look, they're black and white. Like the black and white duality. Oh, that's cool. Oh, and here she has her full signature. Isn't that like a classic Marseille thing? Or or on old decks, they, the artist would put their full signature on the Wheel of Fortune, and also it was like the Two of uh, Pentacles or something like that. I don't I don't totally remember, but I feel like I read that somewhere. Oh, I love this one. And you know what I love about these brooms? They're like regular, they're regular ass sweeping brooms. They're not, they're not um, round bundles, you know, they're the flat ones. <laughs> I love it. Oh, and they're holding the books. Oh my gosh. This one might be my favorite one. I love the Wheel of Fortune as a card. I really do. Not just this one, but in general. And this is a great one. Ooh, it's like a lynx. My dog is growling in the background. Maybe he knows that I'm admiring all these cats. This one is mesmerizing. Oh, look, you've got a little shine up here. Or like a, a Polaris. That's cool. Or maybe it's... um. Maybe it's the Morning Star. And you have a guess, I guess you have a couple others here too. I just like this one up here as being sort of a guiding a guiding light. 
up in the tree. That's really cool. I always love when, when cards have a sort of top-down perspective, or, you know, when the figures in the cards have a top-down perspective. I like also that the, the scales are even and then the sword is upright. Oh man, he's gripping it by the by the blade, not by the hilt. Oh, that is interesting. Ooh, maybe I'll write like a fan guidebook of this too. <laughs> the hanged man. That tiger is not enjoying himself. Oh, this is interesting. I wonder if this is licorice. I really like the, um, I like that the tiger is very upset about this. It's not such a peaceful thing. It's almost like a, you know, a hanging. But of course he's being let down. This background, it's, it looks like a bed, but it also sort of reminds me of a stage magic kind of thing with these big curtains. That's really cool. Oh, oh. Look at that. Rainbows on death. This is a door. This is this is this is incredible. I love the blood leaking and the blood sp splat. Not the blood, but the red. You know, it looks like blood. It's really cool. And how it's even bleeding out onto that a little bit. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Interesting how the text also is very. Uh, it's not as fancy as some of the other ones. <laughs> Very straightforward. Oh, I wonder if this if this is about crossing to the Rainbow Bridge. That's something that I heard about um, relatively recently. I hadn't heard it growing up or anything, but when a pet dies there, you know, the metaphor for it is that they're crossing over the Rainbow Bridge. Oh, that one's... I, I like this one. I like it a lot. Very striking. Here's Temperance. Pretty classic, but it's a good one. Very pretty. I love these flowers in the front. I'm going to have to look up what kind of flowers they are. I'm really interested. I love flower symbolism and the symbolic language of flowers and all that stuff, but I, I can't recognize them very well. I just don't have the background yet. I really like the expression on this cat, too. They seem very, um, grounded as opposed to dreamy. I really like that. <laughs> Look at him! He's got the head of a lion door knocker! That is cool! Oh, whoa. The devil at your door isn't I that's got to be some sort of uh some sort of phrase. <laughs> There's so many devil phrases. That's really cool. That's really interesting. And again, it's like a lion, devil and a cat person. So you have that strength of the of the devil. And she's like floating. Man, that's cool. Great colors. Ooh, intense tower. Appropriately so. I really love the the line art right here. This is like everything's going wrong. Look at this. You got the lightning, you got hailstorms, you've got tidal waves, you've got explosions. Ooh, someone died. Yikes. It's like the Titanic, especially with this guy being all, all fancy. I wonder what he's holding. I can't totally tell. It looks like maybe just a scrap of fabric. Something like that. I wonder if this is sort of Titanic inspired. 
He's a very human like he's like um the cats in in cats on Broadway as opposed to a more cat like cat. Whereas this one is very cat like cat. I like the variety. I really do. Oh my goodness. Oh a double bass. Or a single bass. Upright bass. I think that's what I meant to say. <laughs> Sorry, music uh, musicians. It's pouring out. Oh, the music is is pouring out as water from from her hands and from the bow. This is cool. I have to show this to my sister. She uh, she plays the bass, you know, the upright bass, and she would be very interested in this card, I'm sure. Wow. The moon. This looks like a fox, almost. A very strange cat. Guess it doesn't matter to her, she can't see it. <laughs> Look at these tentacles. Oh, this is cool! Holy crap! And I really love the line work in the back. You're gonna hear me point out the line work all the time, just because I think it's really cool. Oh my gosh. Look at these suction cups. Now I'm just admiring the art. I don't even care about symbolism at this point. Just forget it. Although the blindfold, that's really cool. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm interested in that blindfold for sure. Wow. <laughs> oh. Look, it's that cat. It's the cat from the death card. Or a similar white cat, but I see it as the cat from the death card. And look, it's a dandelion. It's like the dandelion that you can blow a wish on. I always heard, uh, or at least my, my superstition growing up was if you didn't blow away all of the seeds on a dandelion in one breath, then it wouldn't come true. This is cool. I really like the budding flowers, the budding dandelions too. I think that's, I think that's sweet. Very, I love the composition of this card. It's very pretty. Wow. Very classic judgment. Look at this. It's like the, oh, it's like Phantom of the Opera. That's what this reminds me of. Look, you've got these feet here. And you've got these feet here. Oh, that is weird. It's like things coming out from the, uh, <laughs> from the wings of the, the wings of the theater. This is a very strange angel. Look at this weird, like, noodly arm, and it's a yeah. That's a it's a very unique. <laughs> and then up here, you've got these hoop earrings, or whatever. Are they earrings? They look like earrings. Although, wouldn't they be up here? If a cat, if a <laughs> if a cat person wore earrings, would they wear them up here or down here? <laughs> I like the cross on this, um, or you know, the X on the on the lantern too. Interesting. I'll have to dive into that one. White background's nice too. And the world. And here we see some other animals. We've got the the classics. We've got the human or angel hand, whatever, the uh you know, the eagle, the bull. And this weird, like, human lion baby. <laughs> it's a little weird. <laughs> I'm into it, but it is weird. I love the shooting stars. Those are cool. And these ribbons. This looks like a, uh, like a cameo. Or like a little pocket mirror. You know, a Victorian... Victorian cameo. That's really cool. Maybe it's like a scrying mirror. Okay, that's really cool. Oh, cool. Oh, man. So here's where we get the uh, the cat on the card backs, for sure. This lady... I really like the idea of an elder and sort of an elder witch as an ace. I've always kind of liked that idea. I like that idea of, of being handed down wisdom, not from some sort of nebulous cloud source, but from actual people with lived experience. That's really cool. And it's, of course, it's very 
it's very classically Halloween and stuff, which I don't know. I feel like that's appropriate for wands. I feel like the wands are the most Halloween of all the suits. That's a weird thing to say. It doesn't make any goddamn sense. <laughs> I love the streaks in her hair. And the green skin. I, I like you, lady. I, I feel like I could, I could talk to you. I could say a lot of things. <laughs> Oh, look at these little binoculars. And they're inside looking outside. I totally get it. The um, Victorian ladies who are, you know, looking out into the world and, and feeling confined by the structure of high Victorian society and all that. Burgeoning feminism. I totally get that. That's a great thing for the two. These wands with the stars on the end. It's a very classic um, fairy tale Cinderella kind of wands. Look at this, it's an X. That's gotta be something that I don't recognize. It's the roses, it's roses and lilies, that's kind of funny. Like the original um, backs of the roses and lilies RWS deck. I guess before, the, uh, the WS, <laughs> you know, before the writer. I love these little binoculars. And look, she's she's got like a little crystal ball. I love crystal balls and tarot. We should incorporate more of those. Look at this one. Oh, what flowers are those? That is going to be a symbolism thing I'm going to have to look up immediately. <laughs> I love this tailcoat penguin suit. Who would be wearing tailcoats to go and greet the ships at sea? So pompous. He's also, he's sort of got like a black, uh, you know, a black panther kind of look. Black jaguar. Cool. And we have the three, and it says three of ones down here. Oh. Oh, look! This looks like the, this, I guess it isn't exactly the same, but I think this looks sort of like the person we had in, in you know, the cat person we had in the two. Maybe. That would be sort of sweet. A little happily ever after, <laughs> wouldn't it? Really nice. Look at this tiger. This is, this is this is a very old depiction of a tiger. This is the sort of tiger with that mask-like face. That's the sort of tiger that you'd see on, um, uh, like the sideshow circus paintings. Really, really interesting artistic influences on in all of these. This was you know, heavily inspired. Oh, and they're wrapping themselves around with the flowers. So sweet. <laughs> Look at these cats. One of them is in bed. It's like the ghosts of Christmas past <laughs> or something. Or, you know, insert any ghost story from Victorian age in here. <laughs> That's interesting. You are mesmerizing. You are not... You're not that involved in the fighting, but you are very focused. This is... This is interesting. Hmm. This one clawing at the top. This is probably the most human-like of all of the creatures we've seen so far. Oh, look at this six. <laughs> That's sort of sweet. It's like a little cat procession. Uh, yesterday I watched uh, The Cat Returns, the Ghibli movie. Um, it's it's my favorite Ghibli movie. It's very sweet and very cute. And they have this cat procession where the, um, the king from the Kingdom of Cats is coming into the human world. And um, there's this big procession of cats that are holding these little bells and uh, lanterns and things. And this just... I get I I love the procession idea. And I like how you can really see the procession. I I I like it. I like it a lot. Mm. I love the crescent moon, the waning moon. 
That's interesting. Or I guess for people below the equator, it's the waxing moon. I wonder if that <laughs> I wonder if that changes perception of this card at all. <laughs> love the suit, love the hatching. I really love the hatched black to imply it is, you know, it's implied to be just pure black, but it's um done in a very interesting way. Really like it. Oh, look at that. You're very pleased. You are like what um what Venus in the shell should actually look like. You know, very happy, very self-confident, carefree. I like that. And look at these heavily bent trees, the heavy wind. You can just feel the energy. Everything is being pushed back. And it's all good things. They're shooting stars. They're landing on the ground. Oh, I love that one. <laughs> I love the one eye open thing. That's such a cat thing. Just keeping one eye open and one eye watching everything. Wrapped to the tail wrapped around. Yeah. I like that. And I still love the text. I love how the how the words are are all over the place kind of very integrated into the art. Ooh. Bat wings again. And look at this like it looks like a bat patterned sofa. Oh my god, so it's Victorian Gothic. This is so up my alley. Oh my god. Look at the green dress. Not a real green dress, I hope. That's cruel. Look at the the burden. You feel the burden of these like, oh, what am I going to do? What am I going to do with these? Look at this background. It's very dark. Ten of Wands isn't usually that that dark, like uh, color wise. It's not usually that dark, and and I wonder why that is, because I really like this very dark Ten of Wands. It's almost a missed opportunity, I guess, to make it feel very dark and heavy. I like it. Oh, <laughs> all right. So for uh, for animal boys that I would have had a crush on as a child. You are uh, right there on the list, my friend, page one. <laughs> I totally had a crush on um, on Kovu from The Lion King 2 <laughs> when I was growing up. That's so embarrassing. Why did I say that out loud? <laughs> oh, man. I like you. I like the orange eyes. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Yep. Hunter works very well for night. That is perfect. I don't know if I've seen that before on an animal deck of having the knight be a hunter and, and bring home an, a dead animal. That, <laughs> that works very well, especially for a cat deck. I mean, it's perfect. I love it. Oh my god. Look at this. Ocelot, I guess? Looks like an ocelot. Oh, man. They are so happy. <laughs> Look at that. Look at this outfit. It's very gender neutral. At least I see it as kind of gender neutral. I'm into that. I love the... I love how it looks like they're talking to somebody. Or talking to the flowers, even. But, you know, they're actually engaged in doing something. And that's such a Queen of Wands thing, you know? <laughs> of course, they're, they're not going to be just sitting there, you know? Oh, look at this guy. It's like a lion-cat hybrid. He's clearly got a medal or something. Or they they have a medal. Look at this background with these. They're like lion serpent. They're, it's, you know, a take on the salamander, I guess. Look at the claw nails. And your little black and white advisor on your arm. Yeah, you definitely look like someone who's accomplished something. Or at least thinks like they've accomplished something. <sighs> oh. This is beautiful. Again, you have the, the sort of scratched black. It's not a full, pure... Uh, black spotting is what it's called in comics, is when it's just pure black. 
Wow. Oh, and look in the background. It's on like this little flower archway. The silhouette. Oh. This is amazing. All right. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> I'm going to have to come back to... Oh my god! I'm just going to keep doing this. The entire freaking deck, I'm just going to be like... <gasps> I'm going to hyperventilate here. Oh my god. Look at this! The reflection! That is so cool! I don't even... I don't even have anything to say on it. I'm just staring at it. And it's staring back. Look at that. <laughs> Oh, man. I love it. You know what's kind of funny? It it matches up exactly with the borders. You can see it as sort of like a half half full, half, em half empty sort of thing. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I love it. Whoops. I gotta flip that over. Ooh, another stage magician. That's cool. I like that. It's sort of working together to create magic, quote unquote, <laughs> magic. Oh, wow. It's wearing like a t shirt. <laughs> I, mean, it's, I know it's not exactly a t shirt, but, you know, clearly all the focus is on this very elaborate um, setup here. Really pretty. Oh, Le Chant Noir. <laughs> I love it. You get, you, the pose is perfect. You get that real, um, you know, hard stance. It does, you know, Le Chant Noir does not seem like a friendly cat. And, um, it's, I like the pentacle right here and like the collar position. And then one that's behind like this enlightenment position, um, one is clutched within the tail and one clutched in the paw. The provincial France in the background. This, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Oh, the five. Oh, that's, hmm. That's interesting. It's like they were shipwrecked. I guess that's how I'd see it, because you have these, these sort of um, stalactites that, I don't know, it feels it feels very cave-like, and they're sort of trying to ha hail a cab. You know, they're just, they're trying to hail this ship for rescue. Yeah, that's interesting. Very unique five. Fives are often kind of samey. Nothing wrong with it. Just you know, beautiful little six. Look at that. Oh, I like the bowing. I like how one of them is bowing, and it doesn't look like they're trying to, um, you know, they're not only giving to the ones who are ingratiating themselves. Does that make sense? I don't know. I really like it. I like how it's two of them. I like how it's a, it's a pair. Uh, you know, I think it's implied to be a couple. I like that. And look at these more human cat ladies, and they're all just, they're all just in a, in a big crowd here. I, I, oh my gosh. I got, okay, I gotta keep going, I gotta keep going. Oh my god. Now this is a cool seven. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of that one painting that I'm gonna forget the name of because I don't know the names of any paintings. It's that one where you have the, um the woman who's sitting in the garden and there's like the suitor who is sneaking over the fence to come and try and talk to her. You know that one? It's very, um, you know, lush, uh, uh, romantic, rococo, something, something. All right. I'm just saying art words at this point. I'm, I can't remember anything. I'm not focused on that. Look at her little, look at her little shoe. Man, this lion is showing off. <laughs> Maybe a little prematurely, but, you know, I love the roses, too. These are like a, I think these are called daily rose. Um, 
or it's a specific genus of rose or something that looks more like this. It's it's more petal-like. It's a little rounder edges. It's not like the red romantic rose. I know it has its own meanings. That's cool. Here's the eight. Look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that. It's like a... A flea circus. <laughs> look at this outfit. Look at these colors. Look at this card. Oh my god. Look at... Oh man. I really like this sort of rotoscope... Um, or No, rotoscope? Is that the word? Zoetrope. That's what I'm trying to think of. Um, you know, those things that were really popular in the Victorian era where you take a whole bunch of pictures and then you like spin the crank and then it shows the moving picture. That's that's really cool. <laughs> I really like it. Ooh. Look at you. <laughs> I love the pentacles as a necklace. That is cool. Uh, <laughs> look at your face. Oh, man. I love that they're a little uh, bigger. You know what I mean? They, they have the skinny waist, but um, clearly broad-shouldered, very imposing, you know, confident. I like confidence in the Nine of Pentacles. And the Ten. Oh, look at that. You got this little cat. And I guess that's a human, or looks very human-like. Maybe that's the most human-like we've had so far. <laughs> This is sort of later. This looks more um, suffragette era than some of the other stuff. Which is kind of interesting because you have you have the progression, you know? A progression of years. <laughs> cool. Romantic red roses. Oh my god, <laughs> look at this guy. <laughs> look at this. Oh my god, look at this. <laughs> Look at this haircut. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, I... <laughs> I like that it's not so childlike. Yeah. Yeah, you, you're a page of pentacles, all right. I couldn't call you anything else. <laughs> oh, the ball of string. This knight has also caught something. <laughs> That's sort of interesting, the sort of um, patience involved in unwinding the ball of string, the the determination that the, you know, the, the single-sided, single-minded thing that cats do when they're involved in a ball of string. Really cool watercolor effects on the background here, too. Really like it. This is one I have seen. This is one of the um, sample images. And it's so pretty. It's so luxurious. Yeah. I really love it. And I love the yellow roses. I think yellow roses are are more about um uh friendship than romance. I think I feel like that's appropriate. That makes sense for a queen of pentacles. Really like it. <laughs> this Roman emperor. Look at the grape wreath. That is cool. <laughs> it's a very lion-like look he's got the big paws and the big tail yeah yeah the king of pentacles oh, is definitely the roman emperor getting the grapes fed one at a time you know like dangling the bunch over their mouth and <laughs> eating them one at a time look at this it's got these little little curlies really like that one Oh, look at that. It's a cup full of cream. Oh, <laughs> look at this little goblin cat. Look at his ears. Oh, my God. It's a big overflowing fountain of cream. I love how 
you know, I, this is funny. I, I keep talking about how I really like the uh, hatched blacks instead of the spotted blacks, but these are spotted blacks, and just seeing the eyes pop out of them, I I like that too. Guess I just like this deck no matter what. <laughs> I love this. Two hip gay cats. I'm into it. <laughs> like, look at them. Oh, they're holding hands. They've got the cups of love. That is so sweet. Yeah, this is, I mean, I see this as, as lesbian representation. I don't know. <laughs> Just two two cats being being pals, two gals being pals, right? <laughs> oh, and look at this. These are very realistic cats. Just all hanging out. It's cool that they're not so exuberant, you know. That what it what it means for a cat to be comfortable and engaged in others is just to be chilling out. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, there was a, an old TV show called Cat Scratch, and the cats looked kind of like this. They had one black cat, they had a calico, and then they had one who was a little more gray, but just reminds me of this. Anyway. <laughs> oh, oh, look at this. Yeah, you definitely look like you're having kind of a hard time. You're having a hard day and your friend is trying to trying to help help cheer you up, help perk you up with some wine, presumably. <laughs> That's a good four of cups. I'm very picky about my four of cups, and that is a good four of cups. Oh shit. Look at this intensity. This Look at this upset. It's like she just came over and was murdered, and this guy comes across a murdered corpse. That is very, um, that's interesting because the Five of Cups is usually more depressive, and this, of course, is a depressing situation. But I, the, the, the outrage is very interesting. I suppose you could read it as he's the one that killed her, but. I don't know. I don't see it that way. I see it as coming across the the murdered corpse. Oh. This is a sweet little six. Ooh. That looks like a skull. Is that just me? Looks like two eyes and the nose and then the teeth. That's interesting. Yeah. Look at that, just a lovely... This is very Victorian. Just the whole deck. And this too, of course. Very lush. I like this one. Very sweet. Ooh. I like the door. That's really cool. I haven't seen... I don't know that I've seen any Seven of Cups where they have... It's, it's front-facing. You know, it's facing the character in the front. I mean, I, I guess I haven't looked for a lot of Seven of Cups, but but that's really interesting. You see more of the expression. And that's cool because they're sort of eyeing the snake and they're sort of eyeing the little devil imp here, which is interesting. And it's kind of interesting how how the you know, the the life rebirth, whatever, like the 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 good thing, <laughs> the good, the better things, the better options are, are further up. So it's almost like, you know, they'd have to come all the way in and then turn around and look at them and look for them and really survey all of their options before making a selection. That's cool. I've never thought of the Seven of Cups that way. Isn't that amazing when you, when you have a deck that shows you a new gives you an insight about the card in general. I love it when that happens. Here's the eight. Oh. Look at the moon, the cat in the moon. I love this um I love the sadness. 
It's so funny because I was just, it was just in one of my other decks I was just talking about, isn't it? Um, it was the Bohemian Animal Tarot, and in my deep dive, I was just talking about how the I liked the Bluebird as a selection of animal because it was very happy and like in a happy active decision about leaving the cups behind. And then here, it's a, it's clearly a very sad decision, and there's a lot of worry in this this cat and you know their friend has to come and direct them away but I like that too I guess I just like it when they have a um <laughs> they have a perspective you know and I also like how it's a, it's in an interior and now it's all it's difficult in a way but you have to leave it behind and you have to go out into the world again for something new that's really cool really like it oh <laughs> <laughs> Look at this cat. Oh, balancing a cup on the foot. This is wild. <laughs> this is really wild. Acrobatic. I'm going to have to think on this one. It's it, it's I love the colors. Great colors. Mm. <laughs> a tuba. Oh, and look at all these little baby kitty cats. And speaking of the cat returns, this looks very much like, or, you know, the get-up looks very much like the cat prince in that movie. Really good movie. If you like this deck, you'll probably like the movie. <laughs> look at this little farmhouse. These little farm kittens. I love it. It's like they're heralding the new arrival. Oh, that is so sweet. this hat oh my god <laughs> look at this fish uh, this is a silly page <laughs> look at this expression i'm just like what the fuck <laughs> i like it <laughs> i like it a lot it's memorable oh the wings on the knight of cups i love wings on a knight of cups Really, really nice. This one's hard to put words to, I think. Are all of the knights, they're a little more realistic cats, right? Is it worth going back and trying to, trying to double check? Let's see. Yeah, I think they're all a little bit more realistic. That's interesting. Ah. Okay. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. I swear. <laughs> Queen of Cup. <laughs> I'm sure it's probably a, uh, just a, an oversight, but <laughs> I like it. It makes me smile. Hmm, this is interesting. This cat is almost, it's part of the waterfall. And the hair is is part of the waterfall here. I guess I could I could see this queen is almost more a little more reserved, a little more guarded, but still deeply emotional. You can see the um the water watercolor blotches around the eyes. They're red. It's like it's like they've been crying. That's really interesting. <laughs> What a great king. I think this is another one that was in the sample images. I really like it, though. It's kind of cool how they have the, the king and the queen as um, having... Actually exhibiting emotion. <laughs> you know what I mean? And the the big cup full of cream. <laughs> I guess probably the most traditional out of all the cards so far. But I guess, uh, you know, Ace of Swords is a pretty good pick for a traditional card. I love this sun up here. And these cattails. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> I like the fire, too. Yeah, it's interesting. Ooh. Oh, 
<laughs> There's olives on these. They're they're drinking. Oh, um, what are they drinking? Absinthe. I think that's what it's called. I'm not a drinker, but that that's really cool. I think I've been holding these the whole time now. I can I can set them down so you can see them a little more clearly. Sorry about that. Yeah, that's really, that's interesting because absinthe is a is a uh, hallucinogen, or you know, it's it's one of those those really weird alcohols that affect you very strongly and and so that's interesting this idea of the sort of willingly drinking from the cup of absinthe that's kind of cool this is a really neat three of swords because it shows the actual heartbreak i guess i see this as kind of a metaphorical thing where this cat is pushing the other out the window and saying no get out get out of my life and that is the moment of heartbreak. That's really cool. Look at these vines up here. It's an interesting play. Uh, it's an interesting twist on the sort of balcony love, balcony romance, where you think of a Romeo and Juliet type thing where the balcony is meant to be this romantic, secret place of longing and love. And that's the thing that now is being used to push this cat off. That is... <laughs> that's a really interesting... Um, turn on things hmm I really like when a four of swords has a more tragic bent to it because it, it really is it's recovering from something so intense I love this mausoleum and how the, the sword kind of looks like a cross I guess all of them all all four of them do um, the harp is interesting. That definitely adds a sort of lightness to the whole thing or actual element of recovery. Yeah, that was, that one, this one's really cool. I really like it. Ooh, that is an intense fight. I love intensity in the Five of Swords. I love it when the Five of Swords shows the actual fighting moments. They've been really, both of these, uh, all of these Swords cards really have been showing the actual moments and, and have been very action-oriented. That's really cool. Look at this. Again, gripping the hilt. Or, I'm sorry, not the hilt. Gripping the blade, not the hilt. Really, really interesting. <laughs> Look at this Terminator face. Holy crap. This guy's already, you know, had some problems. <laughs> really interesting. Hmm. This is a rather playful six. I guess I see that I, I see this kind of like um, the cat here in the boat is sort of dreaming, is asleep and is dreaming of um, of freedom in a way. And I guess that's that's what you get from the the jester and this very this very freedom, willingness to mix stripes and spots without care in the world, you know. <laughs> Although I guess this is. This is also the fairy, but so I guess it's almost like being being directed by dreaming about being directed by freedom. I don't know. See, I'm getting a lot of these a lot from these cards, even just looking at them for a few seconds here. Ooh. Hmm. This is interesting. This looks kind of like this figure is is afraid of um it's sort of trying to protect the remaining swords. Or actually, you know what first popped into my head is that it looks like they're kind of trying to steal from each other. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they're both trying to steal the same thing. There, it, it, I get, I definitely get the idea of like an arms race, right? <laughs> Literally, arms race. Hmm. This is beautiful. I love the swords as bars on a window. It's a very different type of um, of imprisonment than we usually see with the... I guess you have the, the hands tied also, but... The bars, that's that's really cool. I really like that. It feels very fairy tale like 
you know, being trapped in the tower kind of thing. Oh, look at this medieval, this medieval cat dragon. Oh, that is so cool. I've been working on a zine of um, medieval animals, like de the craziest depictions of animals from medieval manuscripts and things that I can find. Um, <laughs> so I'm, anyway, I'm, so I'm totally into that, into this, um, into this cat here, cat dragon. You look so exhausted and just so, what is this, like a, um, uh, it's a podium. What do they, what do they call a podium in a church? I can't remember. I'm not a church goer. Um, yeah, that's interesting. The church, the church-like setting, just crying out for help and sanctuary. That's interesting. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Look at this ten. That is really cool that the swords aren't actually stabbing her necessarily, and she sort of like resigned herself to the um whoops spoilers <laughs> resigned herself to the fate and you have and you have the you know, you you have the fates helping to wash away the troubles these big curtains man this one's cool i like this one okay the page of swords is my uh significator in a lot of reading something so let's see how i like it Ooh, kind of intense but i do really like it i love the figure i love the <laughs> it's a sort it's sort of um trepidatious like trying to protect yourself with the sword when actually that sword's going to act as a lightning rod. Oh, this is, this is interesting. I love this shadow. Look at that. I really love the shading on all of this. You get that really intense lightning strike. That is cool. Okay, right, yeah. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> it's good. That passes. That means the whole deck is cool. I don't, you know, if I don't like the Page of Swords, it's not a big deal. Just, <laughs> just kind of a bonus. <laughs> now, this one's interesting. So I guess not all of the knights are strictly realistic cats, because this is clearly not a realistic cat. It's like a Grecian statuary. And you have this human cat and this pet-like cat. <laughs> the staircase. The staircase is interesting. I'm just kind of staring at this one. I really love the black and white statuary thing here. It's really cool. Oh. Oh my gosh. This is an amazing Queen of Swords. Look at just the, tr the <laughs> look at the tear, look at the tragic, oh. <sighs> the heavy burdens. And this is just a beautiful depiction. I really love, you know, of course I love all the scenes and things and how they're all, they're very action oriented, but I also really like the close-ups in the occasional card where you get to really see all this detail. It looks really nice. I really love this, um, this shirt, <laughs> the blouse, whatever you'd call it. Really nice. Oh, and the upright sword. This one's, I, I love that one. Oh, <laughs> the big old lion is the king of swords. That's great. And a very, this is the most um, animal-like lion, I guess, out of all of them. Look at these rainbow um, patterns, these rainbow colors on the, on the mountains in the background. That's so cool. Maybe this is just me, but I also feel like it's sort of ambiguous as to whether it's happening um, during the day or at night. This almost seems like it could just be a very over, uh, over brightened, over saturated nighttime thing. Maybe, you know, I mean, maybe I'm just crazy, but <laughs> I, yeah, I really like this. I guess that's the last one. Oh, <laughs> there's Dame Darcy. 
and her little cat. Yep, that looks like trying to take a picture of a cat. <laughs> and the other decks in the series, the Mermaid Tarot and the Queen Alice Tarot. Well, friends, that is the witch, the witchy cat tarot, and I... I love it. I am so excited. I think this Emperor is my favorite. I really like the Emperor card in general. Um, I know a lot of people sort of have issues with it, and I I totally understand that. I really like it when it's not so... when it's not depicted so warmongery, you know what I mean? Oh, great lovers. Just, I mean, they're all really great. I'm just kind of flipping. Oh, this one again. See, I'm just going to have to go flip through them all again later because I want to look at them all again. I'll probably just go and show my boyfriend, Sean. Oh, man. These are really cool. So glad I have it. Highly, highly recommend, obviously. Haven't done any readings, but just purely based on the image, they're very much my style. So I guess if this is your style, then I, I highly recommend it, too. Nice, um, slippery, but not too slippery cardstock. Feels like it'll be a good shuffler. I'm a hand over hand. Let's see if we got... Ooh, it's got a nice little... Yep. All right. I like it. It's perfect. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this little walkthrough, and at some point I'll do a more deep dive on it after I've worked with it for a little while. Um, hope you have a good rest of your day, and thanks for watching. Bye.